Hey, um, I just wanted to make a quick video here. It's raining in the Port Elizabeth area, Nelson Mandela Bay and Utenaik. And I'm thinking how grateful I am because of the rain. Um, you know, in South Africa, we are one of the countries in the world that has a very short supply of fresh water. We get a lot of our fresh water from Lesotho. I don't know why Lesotho isn't one of the provinces, but you know that's a whole another topic. But yeah, this is uh, this rain just reminded me of the people in Cape Town. I don't have any immediate family in Cape Town, but certainly um, this day zero issue uh, was a reflection on, I think, the frustration of the people, but well, actually, just the leadership. So I like reminding people that. In South Africa, oh sorry, in democracy, there's a there's a great quote, in democracy, you get the government that you deserve. But an even better quote that I like is from uh, one of my personal heroes, uh, Professor George Aite, an economist from Ghana, that I met uh, in 2007 at TED Global. And um, he quoted a tribal chief from Lesotho, <laughs> who says that in Africa, uh, we have two problems rats and the government now, even if you have rats and you have a bad government i'm sure there's something that you can be grateful for so this is me making a quick video and just a shout out to people uh, from cape town and just telling you hey um i hope that um your government gets their act together now that uh, the Mayor Patricia DeLol um, will continue, but more than that, I hope that you get some rain and um, you know, there are solutions out there. Uh, countries like Israel have developed very, very good desalination technology. And uh, if all the crazy Palestinian supporting people, most who have never ever been to Palestine and Israel or the Middle East, um, can just stop with this political bullshit and um, focus on embracing the solutions that are available. My outlook on life is um, derived from objectivism and um, uh, libertarian philosophies. So the idea that I follow is, uh, or the principle that I follow is, you have to make yourself stronger before you can help other people, right? Um, it's uh, I'm, I'm, I've started calling it the airline philosophy and what I mean by that is when you're on an airline the air hostess usually tells you something like this um, first put the oxygen mask on yourself before you help the baby or the old lady next to you because if you die then all three of you will die so before you try helping other people like those Palestinians right how about we help ourselves and we make ourselves stronger as a country? And one of the, the things that we need to do is we need to focus on solutions to problems. Right? These politicians, like in Nelson Mandela Bay, uh, from the EFF, who walk out um, because they uh, can't get this uh, no-confidence vote uh, on the agenda for the third time, I think, in two years, we get the government we deserve. In democracy, we get the government we deserve. And the government is a reflection of who we are. So we have to take responsibility. Anyway, that's me over and out.